Hi guys, once again this is Alfred from Amasters.com and as usual I'm starting right here on our site Amasters.com. This is our fear monger uh, indicator that's available right now for free on our site. Uh, you can see we've got one out of five bears, one plus. This is actually down from what we saw over the weekend with the uh, Iran and Is Israel scare. From It's down from two bears. <laughs> out of five uh, if you want to more learn more details about this indicator I put this video right here I go into great detail about how to use the fearmonger and how to use the crypto scanner that's also attached um, right now we've got zero red we've got zero green what does that mean uh, that the markets really taking a pause we haven't made any real decision either way, but I'm going to still go ahead and do some Bitcoin analysis. We're going to look at the statistics and I want to talk about what type of condition we may be coming into now, given the geopolitical risk that are out there. So I want to pause for a second and we'll pull up some charts. Okay, here we have a Bitcoin four hour chart. Um, I've marked out my gray area for this week. And this is a really wide gray area. Um, you can see the you can see the top right here, 68.9. You can see the bottom right here, 62.5K. Um, why is it so wide? Because we had all of that volatility especially like um, during the geopolitical risk. Now, what we may be slipping into now, and I don't know because the market's not showing us yet. It's really tempting to predict the market, but it's a fool's error. Just wait for price, for guys to put in their votes with their pockets, with their wallets, then you make your decisions. Um, are we going to break out to the upside? Is everybody going to blow this off? And we continue as we've been going in Bitcoin? We'll have to see. Are some guys going to say, whoa, this volatility is too much for me? And they're going to dip out? We'll have to see. But they'll show when we hit this gray area here. This is the average that we should expect to go down on this week and either we're going to start overdoing that and I've got another level right here this level that we hit before and hey past that we're we're off in this into the support which could take us somewhere below 60 possibly as low as 57 okay now we've got to wait We've got to see what's going to happen. I think what's happening now is we're drifting out of what I like to call a mechanical market where the, everything runs on good statistics and uh, the market makers have really good control of the market. I love to trade that type of market, but we may be uh, going back into a place where there's geopolitical risk and so the market isn't going to be as mechanical let's look at some other components right quick and then i'm gonna boogie out of here okay um this is the dollar index it's a combined index of all of the most liquid currencies that are traded in u.s dollar versus the u.s dollar and i want to do a mythbusters episode here you see when everything broke out in Where'd guys run? Guys started running into the dollar. Now, if you have a lot of formal training, everybody's going to say, well, guys start running into gold. And they, they did. Guys will start running into gold. And as soon as the president of the U.S. came out and started talking about the geopolitical risk, uh, guys were taking money off the table in the uh, conventional markets and guys were popping into gold. If you go back and look at that other video I done on the 13th, the only one 
I'm told out of 45 that was actually green was gold because gold is a hedge against risk. Uh, it's a thousands of years proven commodity, uh, proven store of value. So, you know, it looks like we're winding out of that trade, but we're just sitting here and uh, guys are. If there's a bias, where well, we, we certainly came back down real nice, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, let me go over here again and uh, show you guys the numbers. There are the numbers again that we have for this week in my Bitcoin technical analysis. That's all I had, guys. We're just going to have to sit tight and we're going to have to see what happens in this market. You see that gray iteration right there? on the crosswalk indicator and it's very small that's another indication along with the zero and the zero as far as the statistically unusual moves on our indicator on the front page of a masters it's telling you there's no decision right now so we just gotta do a little wait and see that's all guys once again this is alfred for a masters.com with my bitcoin technical analysis today is I record this, this is the 15th of April, early, and we'll see what happens today. Uh, once again, if we've helped you, please help us, guys. Really, it helps a lot. And it's free, it doesn't take very long just to click that like button and go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I do regular technical analysis like this, Bitcoin technical analysis, and I plan on starting to cover some more topics uh, outside of crypto as well.